to show how um, amazing it is to really reconstruct geology and sedimentary basins in the Arctic because you have everything exposed in front of your eyes due to the lack of vegetation. So it is um, a, a very great privilege for a geologist to be here and um, look at this uh, uh, very, very special um, place on Earth. In recent years, the topic of ice melt in the Arctic has become a critical issue of global concern. To predict how an increasingly warm climate will affect the Arctic, we need to look to the past. Over the last five years, a team of international geologists, led by Dr. Claudia Schröder Adams, has explored the Canadian Arctic to uncover evidence of past extreme greenhouse conditions. The team looks to the Cretaceous period, where 90 million years ago, the Arctic was nearly ice-free. The warm climate at this time supported a vastly different ecosystem from what is found today. In today's Arctic, sea ice and ice sheets are melting at a rapid rate, drastically altering the landscape. With this, the inhabitants of the Arctic, both plants and animals alike, will have to adapt or face extinction, a process that ultimately drives evolution. Planet Earth is in a constant state of flux. As Arctic glaciers continue to melt, the exposed land provides insights into the intricate relationships between the geological processes, climate change, and ecosystem response. How would life adapt to an Arctic greenhouse? The answers are in the rocks. <laughs>